still it is same as the what a back end developer alone and the front end developer alone can get it it is you need not to become full stack developer to earn more so what all you need to know is swift objective c and xcode html ios sdk jquery jquery mobile and then you need to also know javascript and python you should also have a knowledge about ias azure machine learning azure are yaar how many things you will learn okay i'm i'm calling it quite openly now it's full stack development has My become a sense i hope you all doing well in case if you're seeing me first time on the internet i'm I, i'm a content creator i create content on the interview preparation and i help lot of people to clear their interview if you're someone who's preparing for interview i make content on technical as well as non technical aspects link to those series will be somewhere on the screen also in the description section please go and check them out now without wasting further time let's get started with the topic of the day So, lot of researchers who are contacting me online or etc. They're getting cheated because of this particular problem. That is full stack development scam. Okay, I'm I'm calling it quite openly now. It's full stack development has become a scam. Let me give a simple analogy. What is happening? So, people or students who are in a tier two, tier three college are trying hard, working hard, but still they are not able to get placed from the college. So, what they are doing after that? They are joining some ed tech firms. A lot of tech firms. I don't want to name them. Where they are like taking few lakhs of rupees for full stack developer course, or some are even doing it in a different way. Where they are like they are not charging anything while during the course. After the course is completed, they have to pay few lakhs of rupees. Okay. So lot and lot of researchers are falling for this trap of full stack development without even analyzing. is really full stack developer is a requirement in the industry or not so i'm going to break all the myths this video can be maximum of 8 to 9 minutes please watch the video till then before taking the full stack developer course even if you already taken please watch the video to ensure what you have to learn by end of the full stack developer course okay now let me give you simple thing so you are seeing this is what a full stack developer net looks like i'll give a simple definition what is full stack development an individual who is exp having expertise across the different stacks of the industry software industry okay people are limiting it to just front end and the back end and but it actually doesn't limit their front end back end qa devops uh, deployment all of that should be uh, encompassed as a part of the full stack development so but now in the industry what people are teaching you is just the front end and back end let's stick to at least that but at least understand what all full stack developer in world hardware os virtualization hosting scaling package management web servers database search config management programming framework so these are all the things are actually involved part of full stack development so first of all you are not actually been taught all the aspects of full stack development you are just been taught the front end and the back end so some language in front end and some language in back end so this is what you are learning so first of all you are not a full stack developer also after the course second earlier the full stack developer means this okay this how it used to look like where you used to learn html css some hosting and some back end and some back end language database in the back end language and own hosting quite straight forward this used to happen in the early 2000 and 2010 in that time so there's not so many languages so becoming a full stack developer with learning this was comparatively little easy okay because applications were not complex this is how the full stack development looks like just at a rough level it's not like i've covered all the technologies where you should know the html css web development mobile application development back end hosting so many things you need to know now to become a full stack developer okay so this is the first problem where you cannot learn everything and become a full stack developer you are limiting yourself to few technologies Let, let's still be fine with that second question of mine is why you want to become full stack developer money a lot of job opportunities either of one should be your reason correct so this is the survey that i have taken on dev.to i link all the articles whatever i am referring in the description section so here is what it say an average salary of a full stack developer is around 76000 uh, it is little old two years back let's say even if it become 100000 usd still it is same as the what a back end developer alone and the front end developer alone can get it it is you need not to become full stack developer to earn more so don't have that thought like if you become full stack developer you will earn a lot no that's totally a wrong assumption so you want to be either full front end or back end or full stack all the stacks you earn almost the same but advantage of being full stack front end or back end you can master only one particular technology okay now next thing i'll ask even before i want to talk about few things let us simply see a job requirement for a full stack developer okay so i have opened uh, this application uh, chrome nothing i have searched as you can see full stack web developer job opening so just have so hit enter okay so some random opening uh, opening i'm uh, checking okay i don't know anything about this particular opening just like that i've searched previous also just opened now i'm also just i'm opening okay if you see here 
uh rest all fine i don't know anything about the company or something I, it is not to talk about the company just about the whatever the experience required so experience with the clustering network uh, load balancing uh, geographic re- re- geographic redundancy failover solution etc then you need to have the experience in swift objective c xcode core data layout design information hierarchy etc git javascript java json etc then you not know javascript python all of that so simply i am just making little simple so what all you need to know is swift objective c and xcode html ios sdk jquery jquery mobile and then you need to also know javascript and python you should also have knowledge about ias azure machine learning azure are yaar how many things you will learn this is simply a random example i'm showing but you can open any full stack developer job requirement you will end up seeing so many requirements you cannot apply only for these openings because no institution is teaching you all these technologies okay so at least this is how i do before learning anything or before starting anything so what is the outcome what is the end goal of mine okay so my end goal of learning anything would be either to enhance my career or to get a i mean enhance career in whatever i'm doing or get a new job so first understand what is the new job is about can you learn all these things and apply somewhere that's first thing second thing most of the full stack development jobs 99% i can say are for the experienced people and not for freshers there could be very few companies who are le- uh, hiring fresher as a full stack developer those are like startups and other things but if you know some statistics please mention i searched and i did not get this is what i'm saying with my experience of talking to a lot of freshers and looking at a lot of job opening very very few openings are there for a fresher full stack developer so again don't fall for the scam i will summarize whatever i discussed so far first let me summarize whatever i've said so far first you are actually not a full stack developer a portion of the full stack is picked and taught to you second you will not earn more by being a full stack developer third there are no or there are very less jobs for the full stack developer fourth it's very very difficult to meet all the job description and become a full stack developer okay now i'll i'll discuss another very very important aspect of with you what is the right full stack development please mention that in the com- com- comment section like what is the f- right full stack combination react and uh, node js react on the front end node on the back end react on the front end java on the back end react on the front end php on the back end react on the pi- front end php on the back end or angular on the front end and all these on the back end or c sharp on the back end and plain html and javascript and css on the front end what is the right full stack combination please tell me with my experience even today i couldn't figure out what is the right full stack combination there is no right or wrong combination it is just a company perspective so you are a full stack developer in one company may not will not make you full stack developer in another company because there is a different tech so your options become limited if you become full stack developer you have to apply to only that particular combination should be there it's not just the front end backend both combination has to be there in that company only then you can apply hope you getting what i'm saying so before falling for the trap of full stack development be aware of all these very very important aspects okay next last point i'll tell and i'll end after a point in the industry they don't need a generalist they need an expert okay they need a specialist so what is mean by generalist and a specialist so generalist is someone who have a knowledge of everything for example your manager or your product manager even they know what is front end back end what is coding involved all of that but they themselves cannot build an application they have an opinion but they don't have it a concrete way to build something another one is an expert who knows either front end or the back end but they know it very very well okay so they are the one who beca- can become expert after an experience so you are at a 7 year 8 year 9 year where to transition from a developer to an architect you need to have a mastery of one thing okay whether front end back end if you know both wonderful but at least you should have a mastery of one thing so people respect you if you become a mediocre then becoming architect becomes extremely difficult people don't value you if you don't know things so keep the things in mind so that is one thing and last thing is even after having 10 years 7 years 15 years of experience in one domain alone front end or the back end alone people are still not having a mastery i have 7 years of experience in front end even today i every day i go and read new concepts to understand how the front end works how the new architecture starts coming i have peers in the back end who are having 10 years 12 years 14 years of experience even today they after they design architecture they get it reviewed by their senior architect so there is lot to learn in even one stack alone so don't get into trap of becoming a full stack developer okay now last thing so basant now if you you are starting don't become full stack developer then what to become my simple advice is become one stack developer whether pick back end or front end qa devops anything master that properly as a fresher 
so lot of people come to me wasn't i built lot of clones in react js or i built basic apis in web uh, in the backend can i apply for jobs so my simple question is what is the problem that you have solved so e commerce clone you have built just like however amazon looks like that is one part second thing is what all the problems of amazon you are solving so for example amazon caches lot of information about a product so that next time when you open it can be loaded fastly point number one point to how you solve the concurrent booking two people trying to book the same item at the same time there's and there's only one item so there's only one item two people trying to book it at the same time so how you gonna allot that particular item whom you're gonna allot what algorithm you will use so try to solve crux of the problem as a part of whatever the course that you are learning okay or as an individual if you are practicing something okay so these are the things that you need to master as a fresher so learn a technology solve crux of the problem solve crux of the particular pro or clone or a project that you are building so that people will start appreciating you okay so again i'm saying don't fall for the scam of full stack developer become one stack expert whatever is your inclination and try to get a job in that particular direction so if you like the content please subscribe to my channel and comment give press the like button add a comment if you think it is otherwise please add up in the comment section i'll be more than happy to discuss and guide you guys okay thank you so much for watching catch you next video